Okay, ladies and gents, what's going on here and what's going on out there, football fans? So the Champions League knockouts are finally here, that's right, and I thought in this video I would just get these predictions out the way and all that good stuff, so let's get into it, man. So first leg we got is PSG and Bayern, and me personally, obviously, with me being a Bayern fan, I'm going with Bayern here, obviously. For the first leg, I'm going to say 2-0 for Bayern and second leg 4-1, because for PSG, they likely will be without Mbappe and Messi for the first leg, so I think that's going to be a very very big loss for PSG just because you know Mbappe and Messi they are the driving force behind the PSG team especially Mbappe like without Mbappe I don't see how PSG are going to win this series but obviously looking at Bayern one player that's been really good for Bayern recently has been Eric Maxim Chupomoting he's been balling out for Bayern as a striker because you look at Eric Maxim Chupomoting he's been balling out for Bayern recently especially from the time Lewandowski left the club like Chupomoting has been doing a fine job for Bayern Bayern as a striker, so I'm going to say that's why I think Bayern will have the advantage here over PSG. Plus, you look at Bayern's defense. Bayern's defense is really good with De Ligt and Upamachana, arguably a top two center back duo in Europe. And plus, you look at Bayern's midfield, especially the genius of Musiala. I think that's going to give Bayern a huge edge here over PSG. And next up, we have AC Milan versus Tottenham. Me personally, I'm going to side here with AC Milan here. I would love to see AC Milan finally have some success in the Champions League. Just just because it's been so long since AC Milan were a dominant team in the Champions League that I would love to see the return of the dominance of AC Milan. I think it would be really good for football, so for this series, I'm going 3-1 for AC Milan. I predict that AC Milan will win the first leg 2-1 and the second leg 1-0. Next up, we have Club Bruges versus Benfica. I'm going with Benfica here. I'm going to say likely 5-2 on aggregate for Benfica for both legs. I think Benfica is going to win the first leg 3-0 and for the second leg, I'm going to say 2-2 between Benfica and Club Bruges. And then we have Borussia Dortmund versus Chelsea here. So another very, very good series here. So with me being a Bayern fan here, I'm going to side here with Borussia Dortmund. Call me crazy here, but Chelsea recently have been in a lot of turmoil despite them having a really, really good transfer window, especially with them acquiring Mudrik. But I still think Dortmund will have the edge here over Chelsea here just because I think Dortmund are in much better shape than Chelsea are. And this is coming from a Bayern fan and just because I never really had any issues with Borussia Dortmund, I always had respect for them as a football club, because people think that because of a Bayern fan, I have some sort of hatred against Dortmund, and that's not the case at all. I personally don't have anything against Borussia Dortmund, so for this series, I'm going to say 2-0 on aggregate for Borussia Dortmund. I think Dortmund will win both legs 1-0, respectively, if I'm being realistic here for this matchup. And next up, we have Liverpool versus Real Madrid. That's right here, and you know who I'm going here with. I'm going with Real Madrid here, man. I don't want to bet against Real Madrid here just because obviously I predicted against them, just because I predicted against Real Madrid in the Champions League last year, and you know, my predictions aged like milk. So that's why I'm going with Madrid here, and I'm going to say 3-1 to one for Real Madrid realistically here. Just because you look at Liverpool, ever since Sadio Mane left the club, they have not really been the same team since. I don't know what happened recently with Liverpool, but they just been in absolute turmoil that I think Real Madrid are going to have the advantage over Liverpool here, especially their midfield, like, that's where Madrid beat out Liverpool, and on a good day, Kareem Benzema, he has the potential to ball out, so for this series, I'm saying 3-1 for Real Madrid first leg, I'm going to say 2-0 for Real Madrid, and for the second leg, I'm saying 1-1 between Real Madrid and Liverpool. And then we have Eintracht Frankfurt versus Napoli here, so for this one here, I'm going to go with Napoli here, because Napoli recently in the Serie A this past year have been absolutely impressive as a club, and I personally think that Napoli are going to have the edge here over Frankfurt, so I'm going to say on aggregate 4-2 for Napoli. I think Napoli is going to win the first leg 2-0, and second leg, I think it's going to be a draw between Frankfurt and Napoli. And then we have RB Leipzig versus Manchester City, that's right, but me, I'm going with Manchester City here, despite City recently being in a bit of crisis, especially with the whole Premier League investigation and all that stuff, but I don't think that's going to get in the way of Manchester City. So for this series, I have City winning 6-1, to one. that's right. First leg, I think City's going to win 3-1, to one. and second leg, I'm going to say 3-0 for Man City. And last but not least, we have Inter Milan versus Porto, that's right, but I'm going to go here with Porto. I don't know why, but something tells me that Porto might get this W here over Inter. So realistically, I think that this series is going to end 2-1. First leg, I have Porto winning 1-0, and second leg, it's going to be 1-1 between Inter and Porto. So ladies and gents, those are my Champions League round of 16 predictions and all that stuff. 
stuff. So hope you enjoyed this. If you agree, disagree, let me know why in the comments and like, comment, subscribe, and see ya.